Hello, it's Simon here from Confidence Wheels and I'm about to publish this week's blog which is entitled How to Get a Power of Attorney When a Person is Incapacitated in the UK. Now the word that jumps out of that question to me is incapacitated. It can mean anything from somebody having a broken leg to being in a coma. And when making a power of attorney, particularly a lasting power of attorney for health and welfare or property and finance, it's critical that the person has mental capacity. Now, a lot of people misunderstand what mental capacity means. Crucially, it is both item specific and time specific. So with respect to making a power of attorney, the person making it has to have mental capacity, i.e. decision making power, with respect to the decision of giving a power of attorney, and they need to have it at the time they give that instruction. So people's mental capacity state can vary enormously over time, and, and I've seen this having worked up close with neurodegenerative conditions. If you have any doubt whatsoever, I would always recommend employing a professional to come and test capacity and provide a report on it. Okay, so assuming the person applying for the power of attorney has mental capacity, there are a couple of other important factors to consider. First of all, the application process for these documents isn't that quick. At the moment, it's taking somewhere between three and six months to actually get these documents registered with the Office of the Public Guardian and therefore usable. It's also worth noting that the Office of the Public Guardian charges fees for this registration, which at the moment are around 80, 82 pounds per document. So 164 pounds for both documents. It's also worth bearing in mind that preparation of these documents is, is pretty complex. Um, about 80% of people uh, who make powers of attorney use uh, professionals to do it for them. And, and this is because there, are, there were tens of thousands of documents rejected last year uh, for quite, quite simple errors. Um, and actually the consequences of rejection potentially are quite far reaching because you may not find out for several months that you've got a problem by which time a person's condition may have deteriorated. So it's something, I, powers of attorney is something I recommend everybody looking into. If you'd like to know more, you're very welcome to talk to us. You can book a consultation at www.confidencewills.co.uk. That's www.confidencewills.co.uk without obligation. You can look at our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel or read our blogs. And hopefully we'll hear from you soon. Take care.